is my screen is sharing to everyone yes yes okay yes. so yes, sir. Uh, so uh, like uh, anyone i'll ask some questions like what we discussed in yesterday class uh, let's uh, give some agenda to swati swati what we discussed in yesterday class conditional statement if if else if yes, else yes, if nested yes, yes, yeah these are the conditional statements we discussed in yesterday class and also we given some practical explanation on uh, and also we given some practical programs uh, on conditional statements in yesterday class okay like uh, we discussed that particular part in yesterday class okay Uh, like uh, we discussed about the practical examples on if we felt uh, that particular part in yesterday class yeah so okay now today we are conducting some other things on what we had been so like coming to yesterday class we discussed about coming to yesterday class we discussed about uh, if if else and also some other conditional statements like nested if and also with some practical examples are given okay in today class let's start with switch statement let's start with switch statement and the switch statement and also if else else if is related only the same thing we can apply the switch statement or else if okay based on your requirement it's not okay every time to uh, uh try to apply switch statement you can apply using if else also the same conditions okay normally as a trainer i want to explain each and every condition each and every uh, things that's why i'm explaining switch statement okay uh, excuse Under, me sir yes 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 uh, what does exactly switch statement mean sir like for example if you have multiple conditions okay based on expression if you want to match any of the value okay based on expression okay if you want to match any of the value it's like same like a pick uh, pick list sir uh, of course not pick list for example i'll tell you okay like the syntax we give I'll many option in that you have to select uh, like yes 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 okay yes like uh, like we have this is the syntax we'll give some expression based on the condition okay if any of the if any of the thing is still matches either value 1 okay either value 1 if any of the thing is matches based on the expression expression or value is a condition given by the client okay so if any of the thing is still matches then we'll print that particular logic then we'll print that particular logic whatever it may be if we did not match with anything okay so we have else like uh, then else so we'll print this particular information for example if the condition is matches based on the expression we'll print this particular logic whatever it may be we written okay so if the information is not been matching then immediately let's go to the when else whatever it may be okay this is the thing yeah and uh, another thing is uh, okay there are two syntaxes for switch statement this is the first syntax okay and coming to the second syntax okay If the condition is still matching with any of the values, either value one, either value two, any of the value, you can mention value four, value three, any of the values. Okay. If the condition is matches with any of the values, then we need to uh, print this logic. We need to take this logic. For example, if it's not matching, means let's go to another thing. If it is matched with uh, any of the values here. Okay, if it's printed with any of the logic, then we are printing this logic, whatever it may be. Okay, if you are not okay with any of the logic, whatever it may be, then we are going to the else statement. Then we are printing this logic, whatever it may be. 
So here we have multiple values. If it is matched with any of the value, then we are printing this logic. Here only one value. Yeah. Mostly in real time, in real time normally I'm saying that in Salesforce, I don't have put other things. Mostly we'll use LC only. Instead of switch. The same thing if it's applicable on switch also, we'll go with LC. LC. But we have a multiple conditions like uh, is the condition one matching? Okay, otherwise let's go to LC, the condition two like this. We can define it, yeah. The same thing, we can applicable in if else also, else if also. If anything is not matching, then we'll go to else condition. Okay, we'll go to else if only. But normally as a trainer, I want to explain everything. I'm going with switch statement. Okay, let's give some examples some switch statements. Okay, switch statement has been released in 2018. Okay, 2018 only. Yeah. Let's try to ex uh, explain one some example. Write an FX program to print the DNA based on the data number. For example, if you choose day number as a one, okay, immediately Monday is printed. For example, if you choose a day number as a two, immediately Tuesday is printed. For example, if you choose the day number as greater than seven, then immediately it is easy to print invalid number. Okay. Just I'm creating, creating some Apex class here. Public static void. Just I'm, I'm, print, I'm taking one method. Okay, just I'm taking the one day number, whatever it may be. For example, if it is matched with one, then immediately we are printing Monday. For example, if it is matched with two, immediately it is printing Tuesday. When we match it with three, we are getting system dot debug of Wednesday. If it is matched with four Thursday. Okay, if it is matched with five system dot debug of Friday. For example, if it is matched with six system dot debug of Saturday, for example, if it is matched with seven, and immediately so system dot debug of just a Sunday. For example, if you are not matching with any of the condition, then system dot debug of error. like invalid day number. Just based on the expression, it is easy to match. Based on the expression here, the num based on the day number, it is easy to match with any of the thing. Here it is raising some error here because I miss it semicolon. Yeah. Based on the expression, it is easy to match here. Let's go to debug and open execute anonymous window. Let's execute this method. Okay, let's pass. Eight. What is the output now? Invalid. Invalid. Yes. Sir, yes, one because, more uh, thing, sir. Like this yes, is yes. for week. Like if we go for month and they have three to four weeks, no, sir. So for madam, you are doing for the month uh, numbers only, no, sir. Yes, yes. Based on the numbers. For example, if it's a day one Monday, day two Tuesday, day three Wednesday, just I'm assuming like that, uh, sir. Yeah. Yes, hmm. yes. I'm assuming like that. Like there are seven days, no, sir. In week. Uh, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, just I'm assuming. Like sir, if we same thing data. want in month, sir, then how we'll proceed? Like uh, the same thing. Like for example, if it's a one, like January, February, March, April, like that you need? Yes, sir. No, not that, like, sir. Like uh, Mondays means in a month we have three, we, three Mondays like that. How that numbers particularly? Mm, we need to write some conditions uh, like uh, Sayali here. Like uh, for example, okay, like, uh, uh, can you please tell me the exact output what you need? Like if I say, sir, in a month, uh, three Mondays are there. Uh, example, like today's uh, 
today's venus uh, thursday no sir the next uh, thursday will be uh, like next month uh, when it occurs that day like like that did you get the point sir hello am i audible yes Uh, did you get my point, Kashish? How what I want to say? Yeah, I did. So yeah, like in a, a different, yeah, different in a way. In a different way. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I want. Yes, yes. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. I'm not speaking anything. I don't have. I think some internet connection. Okay, please tell me, Sayali. Uh, the thing is, today is a Wednesday. Yes, like sir, I just speaking. say uh, like suppose this is the August week, sir. So uh, I don't want particularly one day is on Monday. Like we we have many days on Mondays also, no sir. Like related okay. stuff. So like okay. take a calendar, sir. So, okay. 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 Uh, so like, we, yes, I got it. We need to create a switch program. For example, if we entered some month, means we need to get how many uh, days, how many Mondays are presented. Yeah. In yeah. Month. Yeah. Exactly. Sir. Okay. Uh, like uh, that. If we entered. Then we need to display the we need to display uh, the weekdays. Uh, we need to display the Mondays or a Tuesdays or uh, Thursdays like that. Like uh, uh, these are the days of uh, which falls on Monday, sir. Date, date. That's why I'm saying. So I think I think it will quite carry forward. So as he has placed from uh, Monday through Sunday, right? Yeah, uh, he said. Three. So, so it will activate for the seven days only, no? Yes, Sorry? it will be act. It will be activated for only seven days, seven like days. Monday to seven yeah. days. If Monday I, to if I, yeah, only for a week. No, uh, but I think it will carry forward for whatever month. So again, it will start the next week. It will start again for Monday. So. So seventh, so eighth will be again Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it doesn't. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Here the thing is, like, just normally I'm making exception, like one as a Monday, two as a Tuesday, three as a Wednesday, four as a Thursday. But you need exact requirement is like uh, I'll uh, I'll speak it, like uh, when we enter. Okay, like when we entered. Can you please tell me again? When we entered. Uh, uh, लाइक Mondays, like how many Mondays are there? Then we need to get all the Mondays, like a two Mondays or a three Mondays. Yeah, okay, like in the August we month get, we have a four, uh, right? Ah, uh, like that we need to get it. Ah, uh, here Sayali, so civic statement is used to support any expressions and values Sayali. Okay, conditions will not be supported, so we'll go to if statement, uh, if else if else if uh, Sayali. Okay, so based okay. on the leap year, and so we have leap year and non leap year, so three sixty five days, three sixty days. Based on that, we need to compare. And we need to like uh, display that particular thing, lah. Uh, Sorry. Like for example, if month is equal to if month is leap year, okay. Just normal. I'm writing some okay uh, normal exception for you. If month is equal to leap year, okay. Or if month is not equal to is not equal to leap year. If month is equal to leap year, not equal to leap year, okay. For example, if month is equal to leap year, just normal. I'm writing some condition. Okay, if month is equal to leap year. Okay, just uh, if month is equal to uh, sorry, if year is equal to leap year. Okay, you need to pass the particular year also here, year and month also here. You are passing the parameters as a year and month also. Okay. Hmm. So for example, if year is equal to leap year, then it is used to take that particular month if it's uh, okay. Like uh, you need to establish. Okay. Okay. For example. Uh, like if it's same, just entered some January. Okay, year is equal to, like uh, month is equal to one. One means January it is used as exception. Like you need to mention like if it, if you entered as like a January, you need to write some uh, conditions. I am here. 
based on that it is easy to display yeah you need to write some conditions early like uh, if it's a year is equal to leap year and if it is a january uh, like that you need to write for example if it is a february if it's a february Okay, like this. For example, if E is equal to leap year. For example, if E is not equal to leap year. Okay, if E is not equal to leap year. I'll see. E is not equal to leap year. Just imagine. Okay, for each and everything you need to write. Okay, for example, if it's a January, so so it is easy to calculate all the things. Okay, the weekdays, whatever it may be. If it's a February, it is easy to calculate all the things. Just we need to apply some conditions, sir. Like based on that, uh, we'll get all the responses, whatever it may be. Yeah, whatever the output you need. But here, the main thing is just only based on the expressions or values. Values in terms like one, two, three, four, something. If it is matched with that appropriate values, immediately it is easy to print that logic. Yeah, yeah. This okay. is the thing I want to convey. Yeah. Okay, sir. So if any complex conditions or whatever it may be, you have just you need to go to if else statements. It is not possible through switch statement. Only The expressions or values is possible. Okay, whatever mm -hmm. it may be. Expressions in terms like a less than or equal to five. Mm. With limited so sources. Yes, with limited sources. With limited okay. sources is possible. Yeah, but okay. coming to if else statements, you can apply any of the logic model. Yesterday, yeah. yes, yesterday given some complex logics. Everyone remembered like uh, bill quantity. Uh, the different things I calculated. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Like another thing is, yeah, another thing is. For example, if we enter in between one to four, okay, we need to display winter season. For example, if it's a five to eight, uh, we have done this thing, sir, yesterday. Yes, same thing we can implement through switch statement now. Okay. I told you now the same thing we can implement through switch statement. That's how we are going to LC mostly ninety nine percentage. Invalid number. Okay, I think uh, let's remove this. Or oh, let's implement here only. So let's take the month number. For example, if it's Okay, immediately it's a winter season. Let's save this information. Okay, and uh, let me click on open execute anonymous window. For example, if we passed eight, what is the output, everyone? If we passed eight, it's a summer season. Summer season. Yeah. yeah. Summer. And another thing, team. Just we are discussing these fundamentals. Okay. Later, when we are discussing triggers, asynchronous program, these things are very very useful there. Okay. So I'm printing summer season. These are nothing but a fundamentals. When we discuss it, and if you are good in fundamental, then you can easily cope up. Yeah, with that. Yeah. So like we have, and the next thing is iterative statements. Anyone know about iterative statements? Anyone For know me. about iterative statements? Like uh, yes, yes. Let's speak with it. Okay, so I think everyone has been joined. So we have a different types of statements, iterative statements like for loop, while loop, to while loop. Okay, these are the statements. Uh, uh, these are the iterative statements. Okay. Okay, these are the different types of uh, iterative statements. Like we have a for loop, while loop, do while loop, and hence it for loop. Okay, so iterative it is easier to execute. Hello. 
block of statements. It regular continuously. Okay, till the required number of times what you mentioned, till the required number of times. Okay, so there are different types like while, do while, okay, three for loop and enhanced for loop. Mostly in real time, we'll use for run enhanced for loop. Okay, we'll use for run enhanced for loop. Okay, so we'll use for run enhanced for loop. I'm saying again, we'll use for run enhanced for loop in real time. Okay. 99 percentage will use this only yeah just normally i'll discuss while and do while also okay let's see let's see the about while first of all okay for example if the condition is matches then immediately it is easy to print the logic which has been present inside the while loop okay it is a pre-checking iteration we can verify the condition first it is easy to verify the condition first if the condition is satisfied immediately it is easy to print the logic okay so if the condition is satisfied immediately, it is easy to uh, like uh, print the logic and do while. Yeah, first it is easy to print the logic. And after that, it is easy to verify the condition. Okay, and it is easy to uh, take the logic. First of all, it is easy to print the logic, whatever it may be. After completion of that, it is easy to Verify the condition. If the condition is not satisfied, means but it is used, it does not go to the next iteration. Only under first iteration, it is used to stop. That's it. Everyone understood about the difference between the while and do while. Coming to while, if the condition is satisfied, it is used to print the logic. And coming to the do while, first of all, it is used to verify the logic. Okay. So if the after that, it is used to verify the condition. If the condition is not satisfied, then it is used to come to the first time. Okay, so like uh, coming to the do while, the first logic will definitely, whatever the information you kept under the logic, it will be definitely printed. Okay, but coming to while, okay, if the condition is satisfied only, then it is easy to print that particular logic. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone able to understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay, so coming to the for loop. For loop. Sir, can you give the example for do while yeah, condition? Yes, I'll, give. I'll give. I'll give. I'll give. Everything I'll give. While do while everything I'll give. Just normally okay, I'm checking syntaxes now. After okay. that I'll give it. Okay. Okay. Just normally. Sir. Okay. Let's go and let's give example. Then I'll discuss while loop. Okay. Let's give one example on while loop. Okay, just I'm printing some. Just I'm mentioning integer counter is equal to one. Normal I mentioned counter is equal to one. Okay, so first of all, it is easy to verify while counter is less than or equal to 10. Yes, the condition is matched because one is less than or equal to 10. Definitely, it is used to print system dot debug of welcome to FX programming. Of course, then counter is incremented to one. Two, OK, counter is incremented to two. OK, again, it is easy to iterate the second time. Two is less than or equal to 10. Of course, it is correct. Then it is easy to print three uh, again, three. 3 is less than or equal to 10. Of course. 2, again 3, again 4, again 5, again 6, again 7, again 8, again 9, again 10. After that, 11. This 11 is less than or equal to 10. Definitely, it's not possible. Then immediately, it is easy to come to the outside. Okay, yeah. 10 times Apex programming logic is easy to be printed. Yeah. Everyone able to understand what I'm showing? Hello. Uh, yes, if fine. you would have passed a parameter, yeah. then yes. But always the output here will be one only, right? No, 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 no. Here output will be two, three, four. Ah, okay, okay. Just I passed welcome to Apex para programming. Exactly. So Let's you pass need to pass parameter. a parameter, then it's fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's good. Now, yeah, I think it's good. Just I pass it like this. Let's go to debug only. Yeah, it's good. 
सी वेलकम टू एफएक्स प्रोग्रामिंग 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 अप टू 10 इज इजी टू प्रिंट इट इट इज नॉट प्रिंटेड मोर देन बिकॉज़ द कंडीशन इज वेल इफ द कंडीशन इज वेल दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉट प्रिंटेड इट इज इजी टू कमिंग टू द आउटसाइड ओके इट इज इजी टू कमिंग टू द आउटसाइड दैट इज द थिंग just normally just i given some example on uh, while loop okay uh, and uh, let's give some example on uh, uh, do while loop also uh, let's give some example on do while loop also yeah okay my example on do while is okay to print the odd numbers everyone please unmute your mic some time for getting 1 to 15 reverse order okay thank you okay we need to print the odd numbers between 1 to 15 reverse order by using do while loop okay by using do while loop by using do while okay i need to print the odd numbers between 1 to 15 reverse order by using do like do while first of all let's apply let's see okay so we need to iterate the condition still one still one okay while counter is greater than or equal to 1 okay system dot debug so first of all i need to okay i need to apply the things in reverse order okay reverse order okay so 50 is not a odd number okay 50 is not a odd number so it is been starting with 49 okay integer counter is equal to 49 okay integer counter is equal to 49 okay i am printing the counter is equal to 49 okay i am printing the counter is equal to 49 because 49 is a odd number okay yeah. okay after that i am decrementing okay i am decrementing by the 2 counter minus is equal to 2 okay So forty nine minus two is equal to forty seven. Okay, it is easy to verify the condition. Forty seven is greater than or equal to one. Yes, of course, forty seven is equal to greater than or equal to one. Again, it is easy to print that particular forty nine. Okay. So first of all, forty nine is easy to be printed. After that, it is easy to decrement it to the other two. Okay, it is easy to verify the condition. Yes, it is. It has been satisfied. Okay, then forty seven will be printed. Again, two will be decremented. Forty-five. Again, two will be decremented. Forty-three. Again, two will be decremented. Forty-one. Thirty-nine. Like this. It is easy to print each and every odd number. Thirty. Uh, Thirty-nine after. Uh, Thirty-seven. Like this. First of all, it is easy to printing that number. After that, it is easy to verifying the condition. Yeah. After that, it is easy to verifying the condition. Like at last, at last, it is easy to print the number. It is easy to verify the condition. If the condition is not satisfied, it is easy to come to the outside. Yeah. Everyone able to understand this scenario by using do while loop. Mostly in real time, we will not use do while loop. We will use a for loop. Okay. Yes. Everyone able to understand this scenario? Hello, is it audible to everyone? Once please respond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's simplify yes, the scenario. Yes, we get. Yeah. I think it's somewhat complex. Yeah, it's a bit confusing because ultimately it's doing what for loop has to do. Yes, right? yes, But yes. Ah, that's when, that's when yeah. in real time we'll use uh, for loop only. Okay, because it's very confusing by doing for loop. Definitely, I'll agree. I'll agree. That's normal. I want to give some illustration on each and every topic. Okay. Yes, nothing here. Okay, don't uh, don't confuse here. First of all, it is easy to print that particular logic. After that, it is easy to verify the condition. That's it. First of all, it is easy to print the data. After that, it is easy to verify the condition. That's it. Okay. Let's go to debug, open, execute an anonymous window. Apex eleven dot method two. Let's click on execute. Let's go to the debug only. Immediately, see odd number is forty nine, forty seven, forty five, forty three, forty one. See after that, odd number is one. In this way, just it is easy to print each and every odd number successfully. Yeah. This is about some information about do while loop. Okay, don't confuse. I'll give uh, programs on multiple programs and for loop. Okay. 
don't confuse everyone able to understand do well at least 20% and try to practice after completion of the class then you'll get some memorized all the things okay okay so coming to the for loop okay it is a pre checking iteration statement okay the so for initialization either integer string or whatever it may be you need to initialize okay so you need to initialization part after the init apply some conditions here based on the conditions whatever it may be you need to apply some conditions after that we need to verify here in either we need to increment or decrement based on the conditions we need to do it either we need to increment or decrement okay so initialization in terms like for integer i is equal to 1 okay just i am initializing some part okay i am verifying still 100 i less than or equal to 100 okay i am incrementing 1 by 1 1 by 1 1 by 1 like this just this is somewhat a for loop whatever it may be yeah here it is nothing but a conditions here conditions okay here it is nothing but initialization okay here it is nothing but initialization you need to initialize you need to initialize here okay everyone able to get it the conditional state like uh, iterative statement is it any confusing is it any confusing no okay so i'll give some examples okay let so us please repeat that one more time please okay yeah it is an initialization part after that we need to apply some conditions okay so we need to apply some increment or decrement either we need to increment or decrement for example if you want to iterate and print the elements from between 1 to 100 so we are initializing one and after that we are uh, like taking the condition okay either the condition i less than or equal to 100 after that we are incrementing one by one okay so we are printing system dot debug of i okay so first of all it is used to iterate okay so one it is used to printed one after that it is used to go to the next iteration it is used to verify is okay uh, it is used to increment 1 plus plus it is used to 2 again 2 less than or equal to 100 yes condition is satisfied of course again it is used to go to the here 3 plus plus 2 plus plus 3 okay 3 less than or equal to 100 yes condition is satisfied okay again 3 plus plus 4 Okay, four is less than or equal to hundred. Yes, of course, it's correct. Again, up to hundred, it will print. up to hundred. Okay, if the condition is not satisfied, it is easy to come to outside. Okay. Okay, like this, it is easy to iterate one by one. If the condition is not satisfied, it is easy to come to the outside. Yeah, that's it. Let's see some examples. And uh, okay, so before going to see example, okay, uh, let's see the enhancer for loop also. Okay, then we'll see the examples. Okay, then we'll see the examples. Okay. An enhancer for loop also. So we'll declare variable. Whatever it may be. After that, we need to declare array or set collection. Don't worry, we'll get to know. In in mostly we'll use enhancer for loop. We'll use for loop and enhancer for loop. We'll print the logic. Whatever it may be. Okay. So we'll use most enhancer for loop and for loop. Okay. This is the logic. Okay, uh, I think there are some examples. I think in future I'll explain some enhancer for loop. Okay, let's see. Let's see some examples on for loop, whatever it may be. Then we'll get to know. Let's see more examples on for loop. Okay. So I want to print some mathematical table. Okay, I want to print some mathematical table. Okay, for example, if we enter two, okay, if we enter two immediately, so uh, immediately, so it is easy to print the ten steps. Whatever it may be, it is easy to print the ten steps. 
okay for example if you uh, if you had been uh, updated as like a 3t is to print three steps as like a mathematical table whatever it may be based on a response whatever it may be okay public static void Just we are giving it's like a max number. For example, if we separate max number is equal to two, immediately it is easy to give. I'm initializing integer counter is equal to one. Okay, counter less than or equal to ten, up to ten steps now. Counter plus plus. Okay, system dot debug of. And it assume as like if you given as two, it is easy to print two into one is equal to two. 2 into 2 is equal to 4. 2 into 3 is equal to 6. And 2 into 4 is equal to 8. Up to 10 steps. Up to 10 steps. Up to 10 steps. Okay. So we need to take the max number. Plus we are performing some multiplication here. Max number into counter. Up to 10 steps you need to uh, assume. Okay. Let's save this example. Okay, like this. For example, uh, if you want to define some steps also, integer steps. If you define 20 steps here. Okay, if you want to define steps also, okay, like this, you can assume. Okay, let's go to debug, open execute anonymous window. Okay, let's pass method one. Okay, I'm passing three table, 20 steps I need to print. Okay, let's print on execute. We'll get the output. Go to debug only. See, everyone able to get it? Three into one, three, three into two, six, up to 20 steps we are getting. Because I mentioned three table, 20 steps. Yes. Everyone able to get it what I'm explaining? Hello, is I'm audible to everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Is it boring? No one is speaking. Is it okay? Everyone able to understand what I'm explaining? Yes, Venkat. Yes, yes, Venkat. Okay. Let's copy this. Keeping here, okay. This is uh, one example. Just I'm explaining multiple examples because here someone knows about all the things. Someone are completely familiar. Okay, that's why I'm explaining each and everything. Okay. So here I want to print the even numbers. To print the even numbers. To print the even numbers. So, uh, sir, before you proceed, like in the in this. Uh, method right uh, static void method you have not placed anywhere that says a uh, three or you know um yes yes i passed you know, from execute anonymous window i passed three see oh, okay. from method oh, one i'm passing okay okay okay, I see it. I'm passing. okay fine okay okay i see it okay thank you okay thank you so we need to print the even numbers okay so we need to print the even numbers between one to hundred okay like uh, for example if you pass is equal to one, okay. If it's not, if it's an even number, it is easy to print. If it's not even number, it does not print. Okay, it is easy. It is easy to verify whether it is divided by two or not. If it's a divided by two, okay, it is an even number. If it is not divided by two, it's not an even number. Okay, let's see. Let's see this by using for loop. Okay. So in between one to hundred, okay, it is easy to verify. Okay, whether I come so and it is not possible in uh, FX programming, it is not possible. I mod less of two is equal to zero. Okay, we need to apply as like a mod. Okay, in between this, okay, if it is mod less is equal to zero, then immediately 
we need to print that even number system dot debug of five. If it's a divided by zero, we need to print that even number. If it's not divided by zero, we did not print the even number. Okay, if it's a divided by two, we need to print the even number. If it's not divided by two, we did not print the even number. Okay, that is the thing. Let's go to debug, open, execute anonymous window. Let's print the method two. Okay, let's click on execute button. Immediately it is easy to print that output here. Debug only. Okay, see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 52, all the statements. Okay, up to 100, it is easy to be printed. Up to 100, it is easy to be printed. Yes. What this mod is? Mod is nothing but divided by zero. Like if it's a divided by zero. No, is it returning the remainder? Yes, yes, reminder. Yes, reminder. Uh, okay, like, a, like a one. Okay, I need to explain. So no, no, it's okay. It's clear. Yeah. It is a divided by one three is three. Three minus three zero like this. Yeah. If it is a, it is a reminder. If it's zero, yeah, it's a mod. It's a divided something. Yeah. And another thing is like uh, I printed mathematical table and also I printed math. And I want to print whether it is an odd number or not. Okay. I want to print whether it is an odd number or not. Yeah. If it's an odd number means just only I need to change some logic here. Okay, if it's an odd equal to zero. Then immediately it is an odd number. Yeah. I want to print the odd number here. If it's an odd equal to zero, immediately it is an odd number. Yeah. I need to take as like a method three here. Okay, if it's a divided by zero, so it is an even number. If it is not divided by zero, it is an odd number. Okay, just a mention like one modulus of two. It's not equal to zero. Yes, the condition is satisfied. It is an odd number. Immediately, the information is easier to be printed. If it's a divided by zero, okay, if it's a divided by zero, it's an even number. If it's not divided by two, it's definitely odd number. We are printing that particular odd numbers, whatever it may be. Let's go to debug and let's call method three. Okay, we are printing all the odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine, whatever it may be, everything we are printing. Yeah. Is everyone able to get it what I'm explaining? Okay. Yes. And uh, another logic, another logic. Okay, I think anyone, anyone in the class now, please tell me the logic. I need to print the numbers. To print the numbers. Between 1 to 50 in reverse order by using for loop. Or any other people, please tell me. Please tell me the logic here by using for loop. I equals to 50. I um, is greater than or equals to 0. I minus minus. Yes, yes, yes. I greater than or equal to 1. N greater than or equal to 1. N minus minus. Okay, so for example, yes, it's n equal to 50. So we are printing system dot debug of n. Just we are printing the elements and reverse order. Okay, just to print this information, I'm placing this information in another method. Ashish, you are able to understand. Ashish. Yes, yes, sir. You are able kind to of. understand. Yes, yeah, some some of them I do, some of them is a little tricky for me. Okay, okay. Try to practice after completion of the class. This is your first time. Try to statements. No? Everyone, not only Ashish, everyone. Okay, try to practice. Okay. Because somewhat, okay, if you are not familiar with somewhat this for loop while loop, somewhat will feel tricky. No issues, try to practice. It's easy only. Yeah. Immediately it is easy to printing the elements in a reverse order. Yeah. We are printing all the elements in a reverse order using for loop. And another thing, I want to verify whether the given number is even number or not. I want to verify, for example, if you passed it. Okay, so public static void. 
we pass it some number integer n next i am passing only one value i am not passing multiple values here okay i am saying again okay if it's a mod okay if it's a divided by 2 so if it is an even number if it is not divided by 2 it's not an even number so we are verifying if n modulus of 2 is equal to 0 so we are not dealing with multiple statements only one condition only one value that's why we are using only one it are using for loop okay system dot debug of it is an even number okay given number is an even number okay given number is an even number it is showing some error here why it is showing error because i need to represent as like math dot mod of n comma 2 Uh, let's go to debug. Let's pass method files ninety nine. Yeah, uh, Kayali, what is the output here? Is it an even number or not? Not. Yes, it's not an even number. So nothing will come in system dot debug, right? I hope so. No yes, else. yes, no, yes, 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 yes. You because I did not mention anything else. Yes. Or number. If it's odd number, will be printed. Because if the condition is not matching, it is coming to the outside. So it is not printing any statement. If you need else, also you need to print debug open execute and on the same. Yeah, immediately. Given number is an odd number. It is easy to be printing that particular logic. Yeah. I hope everyone is uh, following the things. Whatever it may be, try to. Okay, these are all, some of the examples. Okay. Uh, so I'll give some examples also. Like uh, in the assignment, I hope so. I'll give some examples also. Okay, like in the notepad file, I'll mention write an FX program. Okay, uh, so today I'm saying again. Today I'll change the link. Okay, I'll update in all the WhatsApp group. Okay, tomorrow onwards the link will be changed. Like uh, the people who are new uh, to the development classes, whatever it may be. So kindly please contact your coordinator. Okay, if you are from Harsha Trane, contact to Sarita Ma'am. Or if you are uh, from Global Nexa, contact to Ashish. Okay, if you are from any other, okay, contact your appropriate coordinator. Okay, and register for the trainings. Okay, and also we'll take some email ID and uh, we'll give the drive access to you. And also, uh, like uh, like uh, we'll add in WhatsApp group, required WhatsApp group also. Okay, write an Apex program to print the welcome message contents. थिंग To print the even Sorry. numbers. Sorry. Everyone, please unmute your mic. Okay, to print the even numbers. In the what? What did I do? Everyone want to unmute my country. In the country, what did I do? In the country, Samma. In the country, Samma. Amma, 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 प्राक्टिस ओके ओके वेंकट ओके 
is try to practice. Okay, try to practice. Mostly I given. What are the things? Mostly everything I given. Okay, and I want to give an example on this also. Yeah. For a variable array or set collection. In future, I'll explain more conditions on this. More conditions on this particular uh, enhanced for loop. Okay, more conditions on enhanced for loop. Like in future, not now in future. Normally, I'm giving one example on this enhanced for loop. Just only. For your reception, normally I'm giving in future I'll discuss more more on this enhanced further. The public static void. Method six. Just I'm creating list. This list concept are not completed. Okay. Just I'm creating list. Like a. B, 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 F, G, like that normally. Okay, I'm iterating. So for so initialization string. Okay, just normally you can initialize with any of the variable here. Okay, I'm taking this particular PL whatever it may be. Yeah. Then immediately I'm printing system dot debug dot. Okay. Yeah, here it is the thing is okay. The element like what are the PL element? What are the information? Okay, immediately it is easy to send to the ED. Okay, it is easy to iterate, and again it is easy to go. And it what are the element under the B? Immediately it is easy to be printed. Like this, it is easy to be printing the data one by one. What are you mentioned under the list connection? Yeah, normally I'm explaining this in future. I'll give high elaboration on this and hands it for you. Yeah. Okay, let's click on execute button. Let's click on debug only. C A B C D E F G H. This particular information I'm getting. Okay, let's see. So, sir, what is E D and P L here? Okay, so here P L is nothing but your uh, uh, collection name. Okay, you can mention as like anything here. You can mention as like a caches also. You can store these caches here. Okay. And here initialization. Initialization means it's like we declare integer i equal to one, i equal to two, like that. Now here I declared as like an ED. Anything you can declare. Okay. What are the caches information? All the ABCDFD information is stored in the caches. Immediately it is storing under the ED. So we are going to print the debug statements. Okay. Okay. These are the things. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, in future I'll give high elaboration on this fun and hands for loop. Okay, just normally I give some explanation on this. Yeah, this is about today's class. Okay, this is about today's class. Yeah, thank you, team. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let's meet tomorrow.